little bit, this is a lot windy out here. Out of fuel. I've just had a half a tank. Give me a second. The builder has a history of not chamfering. I don't know if this is one of the builds or not.
got a plug in the car, I think, NGK. It's strong, but once it starts doing what it's doing, champion plug in it for a start. Let's have a look at the plug. Plug in the pipe. I'll have to screw it all the way out. Here's the tool. This is bloody hot there, it's hot. Very hot. Leaning out, look. Can you see? It's actually a nice light brown. What's going on here? Where's the cameras? Up this end. It's not too bad, but it's a champion plug. I'll put a NGK in it. Spot on. Beautiful. Probably slightly rich.
There's crap in the car. Blocking the screen. It's got to be. Sit there, sit there and idle all day. As soon as you full throttle it, that's it. <coughs> I'll spin you around. Actually, yeah, I'll spin you around. Just got to sit you in the right spot. Yeah, it's going back again. What a pain. It actually pulls hard when it's pulling, but it's got crap in the carb, and I don't know if I've got the right tools here to do it. I think this is Alan. To just quickly take the carb off and the screen and have a look at the screen. It's just weird. It was run, running perfect two weekends ago. As you've seen, it's actually it's actually pulling hard, but it's dying in the arse. Like the fuel hose keeps getting kinked. If you know what I'm talking about, you can't kink these because they're braided. They've got braided stuff over the top of them. Yeah, Allen key, or is it the kill switch? You can see some. You reckon the kill switch is getting killed? I can see a... I'd love to show you. I probably could, actually. There's a... some wire exposed. Right there. I just had to remember where the camera was. Hopefully you... <coughs> Hopefully you've seen that. So I've got more repairs to do. This airbox is actually full of shit. Excuse my French. Nothing in the carb though. Um, this, oh, there's some fines inside that filter. Another motorbike. I think I'll call that a wrap. It's getting late. Well, not really. It doesn't get dark till nine o'clock at night, so. Uh, I can't find those screws for the 1010. Which is a shame. Probably could if I had a magnet. There's too much sawdust over there and the dirt, you'd never find them. I think I have a couple, I'm not sure. I might have to put different ones in it. Excuse me. Uh, just give me a second. I might even have those things I need for that in this tool kit my daughter bought me. Father's Day present two years ago. It's a little wallet. No, I don't have the tools. Damn it. The wrong, I've got Allen keys in here, but they're the wrong ones. And yeah, there's none in that. No, I can't do it. Oh, well, not to worry. I better put this away. Um, actually, I can give this Parramatta themed 710 a whirl in the same log and then that'll be it let's get cracking home
we'll do this Dolmar another time. So last weekend before the collection areas close for the year. They don't reopen until the 1st of March, which is the start of autumn here, or fall for you guys overseas. They call it fall and not autumn. Same thing. Just means the leaves fall from the trees. Autumn. I will take the bar and chain off the 1010 and put it on the 710. Call of the day. Catches over there. Take me about five minutes.